He's made headlines for his story of survival. Now, New Mexico's real-life RoboCop wants to be sheriff in his home county. But does he actually live there? News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt is on special assignment. Dean Jess, we received a couple of tips claiming Jeremy Romero doesn't actually live at his listed address in Guadalupe County, where he's running for sheriff. We visited his home in Santa Rosa, and Romero maintains he's not breaking any laws. It's a mystery people in this quiet New Mexico community are wondering about. Do you see anyone living in that house? No. Jeremy Romero's not here? No. No, I've barely seen him here. I don't even know what he looks like. This is the listed home for Guadalupe County Sheriff candidate Jeremy Romero, a house with boarded up windows and broken glass sits on the property. All signs point to no one's home. So what's wrong with this picture? Really, I think someone should definitely step up and and see what's going on. I am a resident of Santa Rosa, born and raised. When we didn't find him at his listed address in Santa Rosa, Romero agreed to interview with us in Albuquerque, where he says he has dual residency. I have a house here in Albuquerque uh, for medical purposes. You may recall Romero's story. He was coined the state's real-life robocop after a 2014 crash that paralyzed him from the waist down. At the time, Romero was with Corrales police chasing a suspected car thief. Since then, he's made strides using an exoskeleton to walk. I don't really even use the, the, the wheelchair as a setback. I you know I look at it you know, as an opportunity to succeed and uh, motivate others not to give up on themselves. I, I, I could have easily given up on, 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 on this career. The 16-year law enforcement veteran now wants to serve his home county as sheriff. The problem? Santa Rosa residents tell us Romero doesn't live where he claims. I've heard people complain that they're like, he doesn't live there, so why is he running for sheriff? Katie Mays lives across the street from the property Romero owns in Santa Rosa. Do you ever see Jeremy around? No, I've never seen him. Okay, and that's a concern? Yes. If they are a registered voter, then they are uh, legally able to run. Patrick Martinez is the Guadalupe County service. clerk. But it's not up to us to go and police the area to see where he lives. It's just up to us to see if they are a registered voter in our county. And he is? Yes, yes he is. But the law also states a candidate must reside in the district for which he is a candidate by the date of the governor's proclamation for the primary election, which in this case was the end of January. In his declaration for candidacy, Romero stated he resides in Santa Rosa. So he's saying he lives there. Exactly. And if he doesn't live there? Well, he's purging himself, right? But Romero stands by his statement. You should have been living on that 4th Street address by the end of January. Yes. Were you? Yes. That day, Pry was sitting in the living room, probably watching TV. Romero owns property in both Santa Rosa and Albuquerque. His campaign manager told us over the phone yesterday that Romero lives in Albuquerque during the week for medical purposes and goes back to Santa Rosa on weekends. Present day, that, that would probably be correct within these past couple of weeks. That's present day. That is correct. Uh, because of the physical therapy and the stuff that I that I got going on within these past couple of weeks. But like I said, next week, it's going to be probably four or five days in Santa Rosa and maybe the weekend here in Albuquerque. So it just, it, it just fluctuates. Even though his wife lives in Albuquerque and his son goes to school in Albuquerque, Romero maintains he lives at the 4th Street property in Santa Rosa in this trailer next to the vacant home. Majority of my time has been in, in Santa Rosa. Can you see that it looks like you don't live there on the property? Uh, simplified terms, no. Though it doesn't appear handicap accessible, Romero says he uses removable ramps to get in and out of the mobile home. Both the county clerk and the secretary of state's office tell us if someone wants to challenge a candidate's residency, they have to file a petition in district court within 10 days of the declaration of candidacy, which no one has. Bottom line, have you broken the rules? No. He says win or lose, he plans to build a handicap-accessible home on this Santa Rosa lot and completely move his family there. As for neighbors not seeing him around, Romero says there's a perfectly good explanation. Everybody has different lives. They go and come, and they're not going to see me 24 hours a day, seven days a week because they got jobs. They go out of town as well. When it comes to questions about his residency or disability, Romero says he's an open book. And uh, when I do win for sheriff, uh, I'm going to continue to provide that transparency. 
A Guadalupe County deputy just withdrew his candidacy for sheriff after learning he lives just feet outside of the county line. Two other candidates remain in the race with Romero. Back to you. All right, Gabrielle, thank you. Recently, Adalia Lechuga Tenya, a former state representative from Albuquerque, was taken off the ballot after a judge ruled that she had been living outside the International District where she was campaigning to win a spot in the House, and the Supreme Court affirmed that decision today.